Hello, good to see you again on Yoga with Paige. Today we have a nice yin for the lower back and hips, where we hold each position for about 30 seconds to a minute to really sink in and break up that deep connective tissue, that fascia, to really allow a nice stretch. We may even feel some mental relief after a few moments once we ease in. And surrender so we don't need any props for this class it is all level friendly whenever you are ready we get started lying down on our backs Taking the first few moments to close the eyes and come into the body. Come into the here and now. Release whatever we did before, whatever needs to come later. We don't need to think about that right now. We're just present in this moment on the mat, feeling our whole body weight supported and held by the earth. Take one deep inhale, fill the lungs with air, feel the belly expand and exhale it all out. Tuck the navel into the spine. And gently take the arms out to the sides, shoulder height. On your next inhale, take the knees up to the ceiling, right over the hips. And then exhale, gently let them fall to the right side. Moving carefully, just a gentle little twist to wake up the lower back. Bring it out. See what it has to say to you. Any pain or discomfort? Can we pull back a little bit? Exhale to come back onto the back, knees up to the ceiling, and gently take our twist to the left as our gaze is up towards the ceiling, releasing tension in the shoulders and in the face, relaxing the hips, letting everything just melt down. And moving gingerly, come back onto the back, soles of the feet on the mat. Lifting, being careful to lift the head and the chest as we sit up onto the sit bones. Send the feet out a little bit here, planting that left foot down, reaching the right ankle, crossing it over the left knee. Hands come behind, fingertips pointing towards the hips. As we inhale, lift the chest, send this knee down, opening up through the hips, through the front body, getting a beautiful stretch in the triceps and the biceps, in the pecs, as well as the hips. Keeping that right foot flexed and breathing.
few breaths here. On your next exhale, you can gently release to switch sides. Opening up through the left glute. Beautiful. Sending those hips down. Reaching the crown up. Feeling the lengthening happening in the spine, in the lower back. As we reach up tall. Crossing the leg very gently, crossing the feet at the ankles to come onto the belly, making our way down into Sphinx Pose. Very gently, elbows underneath the shoulders, palms down, fingers spread, untuck the feet, inhale, lift the chest, press through the mat to lift up even higher. Active in the lower back, we're strengthening here as well as lengthening, active in the glutes. Take one more big breath, make it nice and deep and even on the inhale and the exhale. Exhale, take the forehead to the mat, hands come underneath the shoulders. Inhale, press up. And revolve a little bit to the right. So just peeking over this right shoulder, trying to gaze back at your feet, but taking our gaze just as far as feels good. And we can be a little bit low here too, tucking the elbows in by the sides. Maybe we lift off the knees so we can find a little bit more of a twist, whatever feels good to you. Remembering that this is your practice. One more breath. And then release the forehead to the mat. Come and kind of reset here. Inhale, lift up. Gaze over the left. Find the spot that works for you. And then try to release any tension you find while enjoying the feeling of creating space in your body. Beautiful. Exhale, release. Send the hips back. Press through the mat. Taking the knees as wide as the mat. Walking those hands out. Sliding them down towards the front of the mat as we melt the heart forward. Opening up through the inner groins, relaxing. See how much ease you can find in this posture. Sinking a little deeper and calming the mind a little more with every deep breath. few more moments. And on your next inhale, gently raise the head and the chest. I'm going to walk the fingertips over to the right side, then flip this left hand. Place palms together, 
and melt down, kind of lying on the left ear here, trying to peek underneath the shoulder if we can, really just relaxing into this arm, resting on it heavy, using the weight of your head <laughs> to help you open up through the front of the shoulder. This feels amazing. We're here for a few breaths before we switch. Whenever you're ready, you can gently come out, walk over to the left side, flip the right palm up, and melt down, peeking under that left shoulder, finding a little window for yourself, really feeling the hips opening up now as we've been in this wide stance for a little bit, noticing how you feel now versus the beginning of this wide child's pose. On your next inhale, you can gently lift up. Come up onto the hands, bringing the knees underneath the hips, finding our tabletop pose before gliding the hands out, melting down into puppy for just a few breaths. Just a few moments, maybe releasing the forehead to the mat, massaging the third eye as we roll it side to side. Gripping down through the hands to expand in the shoulders and the upper back. On your next exhale, gently press back up, finding our way to tabletop neutral spine. We're taking a few rounds of cat cow. Inhale, lift the gaze, open up through the throat. Exhale, tuck the chin, press away from the mat as much as you can. Moving with the breath, moving slowly with intention, air. About two more rounds. And whenever you're ready, we meet in tabletop. Taking this right knee up and placing it, stepping up into lizard pose. So taking it a little bit wider than the hips, maybe heel tilting it out a little bit, planting the hands down or coming up onto fingertips to lift the back knee. Reach that left heel back super far, opening up through the left hip flexor. Protracting through the shoulders here to lift the chest and send it forward. Squeeze the glutes. Two more breaths. And gently make your way into pigeon pose. Heel toe that foot to the other side of the mat and lower down, finding what feels good to you here before, I was gonna say resume, relaxing into a sleeping pigeon. Coming down onto the forearms or maybe the forehead, sending the hips down, opening up through that right glute. Beautiful, nice deep stretch here. A 
observing whatever comes up for you. Letting it float along the edges of your mind. Taking notice, but we don't have to take action. We don't have to react to all of the thoughts that float within our mind to give reaction to the ones that we need to give action. Let the other ones go. One more big deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Gently lifting, pressing the hands into the mat to tuck the back foot and come back into our tabletop. I need to take a little cat cow here to reset. We can do that. Otherwise, we take our left foot up into our lizard pose, tucking the back foot, lifting the heel and reaching it back. Making sure our knee is in line with our ankle or a little bit behind, just not forward. Shine that chest forward. Visualize a spread between the collarbones. They're widening here, going out in opposite directions because we're lifted and we're creating so much space in our body. One more breath. And then gently make your way into Pigeon Pose. We will stay here for a decently long hold, just like on the last side. So take your time to find your spot. And then surrender. Surrender the body down into the earth. And surrender the mind. Breathing deeply. knowing that you are exactly where you're supposed to be in this life journey, in your yoga journey, your health journey. You're here right now, committing to it, dedicating yourself to it. can gently raise up whenever we feel ready to go. Coming up actually to the front of the mat, so stepping up to meet this left foot, making our way into a little malasana, sending the toes out to the corners and sinking the pelvis down. It's okay if our feet aren't flat on the mat, our heels can be raised as well. Just opening through the hips, lifting up through the heart. Our only goal right now. Right now. And use the elbows to gently press the knees open a little bit more. Really find our hands at heart center. Calling in all of that good loving energy. A few more breaths. On this next exhale, release as much as you can into this little squat. And on this next exhale, we can gently 
release the knees down, keeping the toes tucked. Knees are hip width apart. We inhale, lift up. Reach the arms up, we're on the knees. And exhale, hands come behind us, finding the small part of the low back. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, start to send the pelvis forward as we drop the head and the chest back. Only going as far as feels good, only going as far as our body allows. We should be able to breathe Nice and easy here. If we can't breathe easy, then we've gone a little bit too far, which is fine. We can always dial it back. One more breath. Beautiful. And exhale, release. Untucking the toes, placing the hands behind the feet, fingertips pointing towards your cute little toes. Inhale and exhale to work through the quads and the hands to send the hips up. Nice quadricep stretch. Beautiful. Feel this long line from knees to the chest, hopefully extending out through the spine. Beautiful. One more breath here. Send those hips up and exhale. Release, coming down onto the sit bones. And now onto the back. If plow pose is in our practice, we can take it now. If it is not in our practice, we can hug our knees into our chest. We can take shoulder stand, supported shoulder stand, or anything else that feels good to you right now. But if shoulder stand is in your practice, we can lift those hips and send the feet over the head. I meant plow pose, not shoulder stand. Send those feet over the head, reaching them back, up on top of the shoulders, not crunching the neck. And if we lift off and we try it and it doesn't feel good, something pulls, anything hurts, we say, ooh, then we slowly release onto the back. There is no shame and trying it and it not feeling good. One more big breath in whatever position you're in. And exhale, we can fully release to the mat. Crossing the left leg over the right, Trying to stack knees on top of each other for this little reclined cow face pose. Reaching for the ankles, pulling them into the hips, getting one last beautiful glute stretch. We won't be here long, just a breath or two. Firmly rooting the lower back and the hips down into the mat. Exhale to release and unravel, and then re-ravel the other way. Grabbing the ankles, pulling them in. A lot of hip action today. Sending yourself love for anything that may have surfaced for you. And if nothing did, that's fine. You send yourself some love anyway. One more breath. Then we can release into our final resting pose of choice. Maybe reclined bound angle, soles of the feet together, maybe corpse pose. Maybe we want to lie on our side with our knees together. Child pose wherever you can take a few moments of just wherever you can take a few moments of stillness breathe deeply let it all go Feel 
taking these last few moments of quiet solitude, calming down the nervous system, repairing your muscles, your tissues, making them stronger and healthier. Allow this all to sink in and just feel good. Finding anywhere we might be holding any tightness, any muscular tension, and just allow it to let go. Give it permission to release. We don't need to hold it anymore. We don't need to hold anything anymore. And we will end our practice today with a few moments of silence, the nice music in the background. And I will bid you a namaste here to not interrupt the end of your shavasana. You can extend it however long feels necessary. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.